Yeah, hi friends, Doc South here, and as you know, I work for a supermarket, and um, sometimes, a lot of times, I, I do the carts, or I do the cleaning, or I take care of knocking down a, a load that came into, let's say, the frozen food locker or the dairy locker, uh, and, you know, get it get it ready to go out onto the uh, store shelves, that kind of thing. I, in, in other words, I'm usually pretty busy. And sometimes uh, one place I especially like working is the uh, produce department when they are when they're nice enough to uh, have me come in uh, to their spot, their section. And I yeah, one thing I will say this in in produce, one thing I usually wind up getting a chore to do is setting out the bananas, because quite honestly, we sell bananas like crazy, like there's no tomorrow. Uh, it, it's amazing. Uh, sometimes in the morning, we'll put out one, two, three, four, five, maybe six crates of bananas on a special shelf that holds a bunch of them. Okay. And you, you know, you, I'll stand back and look at it and think, boy, that's great. Look at all those bananas. That'll, that'll hold people. And, you know, maybe three hours later, you walk by that same shelf, <laughs> that's that same uh, section station, and they most of the bananas are gone. I, yeah, they. I mean, they really sell. And I've often think to myself as I'm putting up the second and third load of bananas for the day. Um, my God, how do they? Where do they grow these? They they these have got a. There, there's got to be banana plantations, you know, 80 miles wide. Uh, it's it, they, they, just this store alone can almost do that many. It, and there's so many stores, everyone's selling bananas for crying out loud. And I get to thinking banana ice cream and banana this, banana that. And pretty soon I'm wondering, you, it, it, half the tropics must be nothing but banana plantations. Well, I didn't realize this, but I just saw an article, I think, on YouTube, and you might be able to search it out yourselves, where they're showing how you can grow bananas at home. Now, I don't know how fast they grow. Maybe it takes half a century. I don't know. But I got a feeling it doesn't. And I, I, I don't know, but I was kind of showing that to Sandy, and she and I are both thinking, well, we could give it a try. But evidently, there's a few versions. Uh, I, I One, I think you just cut the banana, uh, you just cut it in half, and you stick one half in the dirt, and then stand back. I don't know how long it takes. May, I don't know if it's the root side, the stem side, the tip. I don't know. But whatever tip is in the ground, it's, it's in the dirt, so I couldn't see. But the, the darn things evidently grow like... Uh, like like crazy. I I don't know. I'm impressed. Now, I don't know if, if you have a banana tree that has grown rather well, I guess you cut the bananas off to harvest. Then what, do you wait uh, through a, a month or two and more bananas start to grow? I, I don't know. But it's fascinating. It's something I've seen certainly once a week for most of my life, if not all of my life, I have seen a banana has floated by me one way or another, right? Has come into view, shall we say. And I had no clue. You could, it, those big bunches of bananas you see, you, you evidently, if you're patient enough, evidently can grow them. Now again, it, it might take a while to get, to get the right plant. It might take way longer than you think. Then again, I got a feeling maybe it don't. I don't know. It's just interesting. I, it, it, it's funny how anything in the produce, yes, somewhere these things are grown <laughs> or harvested somehow. And yet the somehow the idea that you could have a, a big thing of bananas, you know, a, a pot of bananas uh, in your house, I guess, if you uh, if you just looked into it a little, wouldn't that yeah be interesting? Anyway, I'll see you later. I don't know. It just got 
I, I know it's no great revelation, but somehow it is. Hmm. Anyway, I'll see you later, okay? Let's see if Sandy's got a banana in the house here. I'll have to look and see. Uh, anyway, I'll catch you later. Bye now.